Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I decided to film a nighttime skincare routine. Now when it comes to skincare, that's something that's very personal. Everybody's skin is different. So everything that I'm going to recommend works for me and my skin type. If you don't know what your skin type is and you're now just diving into skincare, I would consult with somebody who knows a little bit more, maybe a dermatologist. One of the products that I use is a little bit more high grade and a little bit more intense but I like to use it on my skin because I do have man textured skin and my skin isn't super, super sensitive so it can handle a lot of different products. This is also gonna be a demonstration on how I do my skincare. I'm obviously not in my bathroom. I'm gonna demonstrate how I would do my skincare routine if I was in the bathroom. Now this nighttime skincare routine will not include how I remove my makeup. If you guys want a separate video on how I break down my makeup and how I remove it, I can definitely film that for you. Just let me know down in the comments below. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So the first step that I like to do is I like to go in with a cleanser and the cleanser that I've been using is the Hydro Boost by Neutrogena. This particular cleanser is really nice because it is hydrating and I have oily skin. One misconception about oily skin is that you don't have to moisturize because your skin is already oily. Now that is something that you should not be doing. You should be moisturizing. Moisturizing is one of the most important parts to my skincare routine and just everybody's skincare routine in general. Your body craves moisture. So when I'm oily, what my body is doing is that it's sensing a need for hydration and then it's giving me the hydration through oils. The Maybelline Hydro Boost has hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is a hydrating agent that is used in makeup, it's used in skincare, and it is basically just a component that helps with hydration and overall moisture. So I go ahead and take this cleanser on a Clarisonic. This is the Clarisonic Mia 2. This is a cleansing brush, it's really popular. So basically when you turn it on, it tells you on different areas in which you need to work in. So I like to focus this mainly on my forehead and I massage that on top of my skin. It just beeped and that just basically is my indication that I need to work on on another area of my skin. Now I'm working on the third area of my skin. And it beeps like this three times so that you can get the three corners of your skin. Or four times, I stand corrected. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and I'll be right back. So now that my skin is nice and cleansed, I'm gonna go in with my toner. Toner is basically there to remove an additional layer of impurities and it cleanses the skin of any dirt and oils. The toner also helps reset your skin's natural pH balance. I don't know necessarily what that is. You should go research that stuff because I just know that it's good for you. I'm going in with the Fresh Rose Hydration Facial Toner. And this says that it removes impurities and softens the skin. And it also has rose fruit extract and it has actual roses in it. I like this particular product because it doesn't have alcohol in it. And alcohol is something that obviously will strip your skin of its natural oils and it's gonna remove hydration. I have noticed from incorporating more hydration onto my skin that I'm not getting as many breakouts. I'm still oily. I'm not acne prone as I once was. When I was younger, I was really acne prone. I don't have much acne right now. I have a few pimples here and there forehead is pretty textured like overall my face is textured because i am a man maury girl she is a butch queen she has stubble which i shaved this yesterday and now it's already growing take a cotton round and i massage it into my skin i work it mainly right over here to start drug upwards I don't know if you can see, but that basically just removed any excess dirt and oil that I had on my skin. So all that gunk is motherfucking gone, girl. So now that my skin is toned, the next step that I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to moisturize my skin. The moisturizer that I've been using recently is the Ole Henriksen Nurture Me Moisturizer. It has nourishing vitamins in it, and it's good for sensitive skin. So, and it says here, if you have rosacea, it's really good for you. Another moisturizer that I loved, but I have to repurchase is the Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer. That one is really silky. I think Neutrogena has one like it and it has hyaluronic acid in it, which is good for hydration. So I basically just, just massage this onto my skin. This is the old packaging, by the way. They have new packaging now. After I moisturize, I go in with my serums and I have two serums from The Ordinary here. This serum right here has revolutionized the game for me. This is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10%. And what this basically does, this is a chemical exfoliant. This is the product that I was talking to you guys about that is a little bit more tough duty. This basically just removes the additional layer of skin that you have on your face. I've seen it help me the most with texture. This is similar to the Sunday Rally Good Jeans, 
only this is six dollars and the Sunday Riley Good Jeans is 120 I believe. This particular product has gotten mixed reviews. I really like it and I've seen a change. I basically put it over here and I massage it into my skin and then I like to take it right over here which is another problem area of mine. The next serum that I'm going to go in with is my Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% and this I apply all over my skin. I like to go in with patting motions so that it really sticks to my skin. It is a little bit tacky, but that tackiness goes away after it dries down. Still on the hunt for a good eye cream. The eye cream I'm using right now is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty. I really am only using this because it's the only eye cream I have right now. The eye cream is really important and I go in with this. I pat it under my skin just to hydrate my skin. If you guys have any recommendations or eye creams that you like to use, let me know down below. I have to go buy new eye cream because she doesn't want to be a crusty bitch. So the last and final step of my nighttime skincare routine is to go in with a mask. One thing that I really like to do is use the Origins Maximizer. This basically is a spray that you put on before any sort of mask, whether it be a sheet mask, whether it be a clay mask, whether it be any sort of mask. And this basically just allows ingredients that's in the mask to soak better into your skin. So I do a few sprays of this. And myself let it dry. And for a mask, today I'm gonna go in with another hydrating mask. I got a sample of the Fresh Rose Face Mask. This mask is really expensive, that's why I got a sample of it. Basically, it is really amazing for hydration. It is kind of like a jelly consistency. So I like to massage it onto my skin. So I pat that into the skin. So for the purpose of today's video, I'm actually just gonna leave this on for like 25 minutes. So I'll be right back. We're gonna wrap this video up. She's back. I decided to slip into something a little bit more comfortable, even though I'm not gonna go to sleep tonight. She's cute or whatever. So after I rinse that mask off, the last and final step that I do is I just hydrate my lips so that way I don't wake up with crusty ass lips. I'm gonna go in with the Glam Glow Pout Mud Wet Lip Balm Treatment. It comes in a little ball like this. And this is just really hydrating and soothing on my lip. Another mask that I really like to use if I have an important event or I want my skin to look snatched is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment that comes in a little white jar. This is just really good for removing all the duckiness and yuckiness out of your skin. And that is my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I hope you guys learned a little bit more um, about skincare and what I do for me. Skincare for me is something that is ever changing. I'm always learning about skincare. I'm always learning about what works and what doesn't for me. I'm always down to try new products. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe down below. Comment down below what your most favorite product in your skincare routine is. And if you don't have a skincare routine, well, bitch, get on it. You ain't getting any fucking younger, so like, let's go. And please don't forget to turn your post notifications on. It just lets you know when I uploaded a video, and it supports me, and it makes me happy. So can you just please do it? I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. She's a woman. She's a woman. She's a woman. She's dainty. Oh, she's sweet. Oh, she's pretty. Okay. Mm-hmm. <sighs>